Hello and welcome to Zenith Gabel News this week. I'm Tejas Renit, the news reporter for this week. Kicking it off with some world news. Oasis Rex, NASA asteroid probe ready to return to Earth after leave. Oasis Rex landed for just a few seconds last week on 500 meter wide bend, some 320 million kilometers away from Earth. The craft is believed to have collected some 400 grams of fragments. The particles were escaping due to the wedged floor. Closing the compartment was a delicate process that took place over two days. Due to the probe being millions of kilometers away, it takes more than 18 minutes for its transmissions to reach Earth. NASA and SpaceX targeting November 14th for next crew launch to ISS. In just a few weeks, NASA and SpaceX are set to launch a diverse crew of astronauts to the International Space Station as a part of the two Dragon spacecraft's first operational flight. NASA SpaceX Crew 1 mission is currently scheduled to launch on November 14 after a slight delay to assess an issue with the Falcon 9 rocket engine. The issue is now resolved. Next up, COVID-19 updates. Total cases worldwide 45,316,582. Total deaths worldwide 1,000,000. 186,609 COVID-19 Vaccine Update Brazil expects vaccine by June 2021 Russia temporarily pauses trials Brazil is likely to have a vaccine approved and ready for use by June 2021 Antonio Barratos, the head of the country's health regulator Rose said while Andesa has not decided on the minimum efficiency required to approve a vaccine. In the past, the regulator has approved vaccines with less than 50% effectiveness. Next in line, sports news. 92 race wins and counting. Louis Hamilton overtakes Michael Schumacher. Just two weeks after equaling Michael Schumacher's record for the most Formula One Grand Prix wins, Louis Hamilton has made history by recording his 92nd victory. Chennai Super Kings beat Kolkata Knight Riders by six wickets, which took place in Dubai International Cricket Stadium, Dubai, on October 29. Barcelona midfielder Philip Guadino is set to miss the Champions League's fixture with Juventus on Wednesday after injuring his left hamstring. Juventus fall to Lionel Messi's Barcelona without coronavirus hit. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo missed Juventus Champions League clash against Lionel Messi, Barcelona, two weeks after his testing positive for coronavirus, with the Italian Giants losing 2 0 at home on Wednesday in his absence. Coming up, tech and science news. WhatsApp to add base unlock support on Android. WhatsApp is reportedly preparing to bring support for base unlock feature on Android devices. Next generation console, the PS5, will be available in two models. Sony has finally revealed the long awaited details of its new PlayStation 5 console. The PS5 will launch in November with a dual sense wireless controller and a new range of accessories. Indian news. Trump calls India, China's ad filthy. Social media weighs in. US President Donald Trump describing the ad in India and China as filthy has triggered mixed reactions on social media, with many amused or embarrassed by the statement. Trump made the remarks on Thursday night as he denounced Democratic rival Joe Biden's plan to tackle climate change during their second and final presidential debate ahead of November 3rd election. India and the US have signed a military agreement on sharing sensitive satellite data amid Delhi's tense border standoff with Beijing. 
deal was announced after the annual 2 plus 2 high level talks in Delhi on Tuesday. Experts say the strengthening of India US ties is, a main, is aimed at countering China's influence in the region. Qatar News Qatar signs deals to procure COVID 19 vaccines with the second pharmaceutical company. The Ministry of Public Health announced that it has signed an agreement with the second pharmaceutical company to procure a COVID 19 vaccine as soon as it is approved and released for global use. All schools to open on November 1st. Yes, you heard me right. All schools will be reopening on 1st November 2020. But all schools will have to follow the instructions given by MOEHE. And they also have they have also added that children who don't come to school physically will be marked absent. Students are requested to follow all the precautionary measures and stay two meters apart from each other. Presidential election. U.S. election 2020 polls. Who is ahead, Trump or Biden? Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the major candidates in the 2020 United States presidential election, are being sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Elections. Joe Biden is leading with a percentage of 51%, whereas Trump is leading with a percentage of 42%. Privilege of your time. Goodbye. This is Tejas Brennan signing off.